Get ready to match the stars. Joey Bishop, Brett Summers, Charles Nelson Ruff, Arlene Francis, Richard Dawson, and Joyce Bulevant as we play the star-studded Big Money Match Game 76. And now here's the star of Match Game 76. How's everybody up here? Just wonderful. Just wonderful. You're a wonderful bunch. Thank you really you. are a wonderful bunch. Yeah. All except Joey. <laughs> no, Joey's okay. Joey's he's okay. He got the hang of it, and he's rolling along like old man River. Now, <laughs> let's That's what say, I mean. <laughs> let's say hello to the champ here, Tad Larson. Hello, Tad. Hello. Hi, Jane. Hi. How are you? Okay. You Good. all right? I'm fine. As the time expired last time, he had won the game, and then he won $100 in the super match, so he's going to be playing for $1,000 in a moment or so, and we'll see if he collects that amount right after we see about this bit of business. This is Tad Larson. He's got his $200. 200 yep. Now you're going to be playing for $1,000. Tad, to collect that amount of money, you've got to match one of our celebrities, and it has to be an exact match. Time for you to choose one. Mr. Richard Dawson. Mr. Richard right Dawson. There. He's the okay. one. Okay. He'll write his answer to this. You face me. Here it is. It's worth $1,000. Are you thinking real hard? I'm thinking real hard. Got your ESP going? Sending thought waves over toward Richard. Cherry blank. Cherry blank. Now, he's finished, Tad. It's up to you to give us an answer which you think will match his. Cherry... Cherry pie. Cherry pie. Okay. Sounds like a reasonable proposition to me. Uh, the trick is, it's got to match Richard to collect the thousand. That's what he says, Richard. Cherry pie will match it for a thousand. Pie! pie. I know. The winners, uh, Tad, usually kiss Richard, and I've noticed she came very close there. I have someone who will accept for me. Oh, will you accept? All right, she'll accept for you. <laughs> oh, you sure, I don't want to get involved. Yeah. Okay. Uh, that looks you, nice. Good I kisser, like is he? Yeah. Yeah, you like the mustache? I'm a two time winner now. Only <laughs> well, kidding. Okay, Ted, you've got $1,200 to your credit, and you're going to meet another player right now. Let's welcome Nancy Helm. Okay, Ted, you want to climb aboard there now? You know Ted, Nancy? <laughs> now, uh, Nancy, we welcome you and ask you to tell us a little bit about yourself. Okay, I'm married. I have three children. I live in Glendale, and I spend most of my spare time redoing our 40-year-old English house. Yeah, do, do, doing what? Our 40-year-old English house. We are remodeling it and oh. redecorating it. Yeah, yeah, I mean, you'll uh, hang wallpaper and... Uh, well, <laughs> I do a little painting. <laughs> oh, you do? Well, that's right. very interesting. That's a marvelous occupation there. Mm -hmm. You ready? Yep. Okay, Nancy. <laughs> 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 Everything works just... Yes, A or B, my B, dear. B, please. B it is. Here we go. New game. Everybody plays. Okay. Question goes like this. Still wie die Nacht und tief wie das Meer soll deine Liebe blanken. Oh, forget it. I've got it. Making me the answer there now. Write down something, Vish Master. <laughs> no, I'm only kidding. That's not the question. Stop the music. What do you mean, you're only kidding? <laughs> no, that was it. That's not the question. You wrote, wrote it. I wrote Tomorrow the World. <laughs> This is the question. Oh. I was just funning you a little oh. bit to make sure you're all listening there. There is a new disease called President Ford fever. <laughs> when you get it, it makes you blank.
Got it. A winner. If I've ever seen one. Listen, Sahara, February 15th, right? In Las Vegas. February 26th. February 26th. I knew you'd get it straight sooner or Look later. We can't even match the date I'm going to open. <laughs> February 26th. Yes, Put thank you. Put your little card in your little slot. Dad, there's she the one that so won you the thousand dollars. <laughs> okay, they're all set over there. Here you go, Nancy. A new disease called President Ford Fever. When you get it, it makes you blank. Fall down. Fall down. <laughs> <laughs> that little rascal said it makes you fall down. What do you say? I almost huh? put fall up, but then I remembered. I fall, put fall down. down. Yeah. 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 He finally got his act together, Brett. Isn't right. that wonderful? Yes. Ah. <laughs> I said trip and or fall down. Trip and uh, fall down. That's two for Nancy. Charles? Well, I see. I took you for real. I said nerstrucken sunk. <laughs> Which means fall a lot. Fall a lot. Okay. Uh, three for Nancy. Nancy's really rolling here. Until she met me. What? Because <laughs> I only just said it made you sick. It made you sick. That's all. Arlene. I'm sorry. I'll go. <laughs> In the middle of the week, <laughs> Richard. What was the question? The question was a new disease called President Ford fever. When you get it, it makes you fall down. Clumsy. <laughs> <laughs> Clumsy does not match fall down, but it's rather He's amusing. Rather, he is yeah. rather clumsy. That's right. He right. falls up. Well, he falls up. Now, Joyce, uh, Hi. Nancy's looking for the answer fall down. Why don't you tell me about your house? <laughs> uh, well, that's only on skis. That's if you get sick on skis, you really? do that. Really? Oh, I fell down on a plane, too. I said yeah. it makes you crazy. <laughs> sorry, sorry, Mr. President. Mr. President, she said it. I didn't say that. <laughs> okay, no, uh, three oh, for you, gosh. Nancy. And your first rounder will come along in a minute or so. But right now, this for you. Ready. Okay, here we are. Second half of round one. Ready? Tad. All yours now. Listen carefully. The Indian chief said, mm. Me put new brave in charge of smoke signals. Him dumb. Him send smoke signals in blank. <laughs> dumb new brave. Oh, me dumb also. <laughs> <laughs> dumb squaw. No right answer. Uh, uh, uh -huh. Uh, me put new brave in charge of smoke signals. Him dumb. Yeah. Him send smoke signals in blank. Gotcha. You don't know many? This is, there's a couple of really terrific answers. There are? There's one, right? What? There are? Sure. I already have oh. mine. <laughs> I finished long ago. Hello there. Cecil. I'm sorry, sir. This window is closed. You were told earlier the yes. bank closed at three o'clock promptly. Well, I didn't get guard. My... Wait a minute. I didn't get. It's my unemployment right, I, check. I've I got... just don't want to write. I have a problem about this, and we'll discuss it when it comes my turn. Okay. All right, Tad, are you ready? Just a second. Oh, oh Joyce. I know. I just can't think of an. The Indian chief said, "Me put new brave in charge of smoke signals. Him dumb. Him send smoke signals in blank. Longhand." Dan, they had the same problem over there. <laughs> so I suspect you might get longhand. <laughs> That's not bad. Joey, what'd you say? I said in Braille. In Braille is a good answer. Yeah. One good possibility, Brett. We've told you to write larger. We're not going to tell you again. It's been a year since I've hit a girl in the mouth. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Be a match. Yes. What's the opposite of longhand? Shorthand. Shorthand. <laughs> Get a loud buzz. Oh, oh Close. okay. Yeah, okay, yeah, just huh? that far. So near and yet so far. I said in French. In French. I hate yeah. that answer. That was a French Indian. Harley, <laughs> what did you say? Show us a good answer. I can't. I'm just dumb. Dark. Dark is good. Dark is good. No, dark is very good. I always was crazy about it. Send smoke signals in the dark. You see, he was so dumb, no one could see the smoke in the dark. So it's so far. Right. So far, it's the best answer, right? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I don't want to be too scientific. Who tells you you cannot see smoke in the dark? 
Right, baby. You tell him, fat lady. Lay off of me, baby. <laughs> Telling you, you can't see smoke in the dark. Okay. What if it's right. moonlit at night? Yeah. Indian chief said, me put new brave in charge of smoke signals. Him dumb, him send smoke signals in longhand, according to Tad. What do you say? You hamburger. <laughs> <laughs> if you like dark, you'll love night. Night is another marvelous sure. answer. Night and dark? Yes. Night you and dark, you are the one. Yes, Joyce. <laughs> I have the answer. You have the answer. Ha! Yeah. Huh. It didn't Don't your answer. Though, I'm <laughs> you didn't bring it with you. She <laughs> <laughs> doesn't have the answer with her, but she has it at home, so take her word it's for it. It's filed. It's on file. I said in the peace pipe. What? Little, little tiny signals. Oh, That's boy. the worst answer you've ever given ever in the history of this show. You no, know, I didn't think it was possible. You really are going downhill. <laughs> Okay, so it's three to nothing at the end of round one. We go to round two. Bing. All right, Nancy. B, please. B it is. Three people do not play. Joey does not play. Brett does not play. And Charles, and Charles does not play. play. This is just for the lower tier. Good, then we can close the floor and fight like okay. we've been doing for a week. <laughs> Ted said. Ted said, I am never going back to that restaurant. It was so crowded, the only seat I could get was on the blank. <laughs> Ted said. Never going back to that restaurant. It was so crowded, the only seat I could get was on the blank. I'm glad I don't have to bother with that question. That taxes my brain too. Well, that's a little bother. difficult one. There are a couple of... Uh... I like easy ones, like... <laughs> All right. Right. Here we go. That's not Nancy. Ted said, I am never going back to that restaurant. The only It was so crowded, the only seat I could get was on the... John. My kid. Uh, what she didn't know was the John was on the floor. Oh, really? <laughs> they usually are. <laughs> All right, Richard. Being the perfect person, I <clears throat> suppose you're going to give us a perfect answer. Oh, I wouldn't want to spoil a record, John. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How did that's the name of the game, Arlene. He's too smart. Did you hear why my sister backed out of the restaurant because oh. it was so crowded? She heard the sailor was going to grab her seat. <laughs> oh, oh You're ashamed of your answer. You don't want to show table. your answer. She said, on the table. Yes. Okay, well. so that's four for Nancy. Now let's see how Tad does. Now you've got to match four to tie, five to win. Everybody plays. Everybody. Everybody, because he didn't match anybody in the first round. The new hero of the sports world is Long Nose Jones. Yeah. Long Nose's nose is so long, he uses it as a blank. And he's a new hero of the sports world. Now, the operative word is sports world. He's a new hero of the sports world. Gotcha. And his name is Long Nose Jones. Nose is so long, he uses it as a blank. <laughs> Well, you know, I'm such a big sports fan, I'm always terrific with these questions. All right. Here we go. Never miss a game. Not to it Listen is. Listen carefully. <laughs> the new hero of the sports world is Long Nose Jones. Long Nose's nose is so long, he uses it as a... Bat. As a bat. As a bat. He said uses it as a bat. I'd and like to know why we didn't play the last time. Well, in, the, in the matching Nancy, you match her in the first round, so you lay out in the second no, round. Someone should have told me that there will be times when I'll not be playing. I was, I was a little embarrassed sitting here with this ding a -ling hollering at me while the game was playing. I said baseball bat. Baseball bat. One to Ted. All right, Miss Giggling. Now, baseball is still small, but there is an improvement in yes, bat. Yes, he's getting bigger. Yeah. Yes. Right. I said baseball bat. That's two for Ted. Score is four to two at this moment. Charles? It was so long, I was going to say pole vault, but is it vault? I said bat, but is what is pole? Pole vault. V A U L T. V A U L T. Four to three is the score. Arlene, he's looking for the word bat. I am just beginning to catch on. Bat. Tie score. <laughs> One more baseball bat will win the game. Well, he's come to the wrong place. Pole vault. Pole vault. Pole vault is a good answer. It's what I would have said if I were playing, and I'm as good as anybody at this game. <laughs> Joyce? Than, you uh, know what? So. I just thought of this. See if you think it's funny. <laughs> you going to uh, tell that joke about your sister again? Why don't we just show you. Just <laughs> you show know, us your answer. I am. This is a clue to my answer. A Czechoslovakian safe. 
A pole vault. A pole vault. <laughs> so the day man's in a tie. <laughs> yes, yes, all right. Oh, Thank you. Oh, 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 goodness <laughs> me. So four to four, and we uh, tell you what happens when we get achieve a tie right after we tell you about this. <laughs> Today's consolation prizes are an assortment of Sarah Coventry jewelry that you can buy from a friend at home. Special wardrobe with the many looks of Sarah Coventry fashion jewelry. And a deluxe kit of Artex roll-on decorator paints, a complete home and fashion decorator paint in the tube from Artex hobby products. And a deep fryer and golden dip. Quality meat, seafood, and chicken is served as fine breading, not leftover crumbs. You can bake or fry with golden dip. I did a little, the cat and the fiddle, the cow jumped over the blank. But match game 76 will continue in a minute. We got a tie. So we got to just uh, forget about all this. Push the button here. Reveal one tie-breaking question for each of you. The one who scores the most matches will be the winner. And Nancy will ask you for your selection here, A or B. B, please. B it is. Tiebreaker. Everybody plays. Here we go. Yes. I was feeling Joey's when, muscle. Oh, how nice. <laughs> <laughs> when, it's all off between us. <laughs> I sure wish I could match that. <laughs> Cancel the room at the Encino. <laughs> When Big Rocco saw the rotten room the hotel gave him, he threw the blank out the window. Big, Big Rocco. Rocco. When he saw the rotten room the hotel gave him, he threw the blank out the window. He threw when the he saw the rotten room right. the I hotel gave him, he threw the blank out saying. the window. That's it. So what is that called? That's it. Yeah, can't think that's a girl. That's a good. That's a good girl. That's a good. You a good girl. I'm a good girl. Your midriff is bare. <laughs> All right, everybody ready? Here we go, Nancy. When Big Rocco saw the rotten room the hotel gave me, threw the blank out the window. The bed. The bed. Mm -hmm. mm. You got a sprinkling of applause on the bed. I, I wouldn't say that if I were playing. What'd you well, say? I put it together, right? Yep. I analyzed it. Who would be with him when he first saw the room would be the bellhop, right? Right. I said he threw the bellhop out of the room. Is that what it says on the card? That's what I said. Okay. All right. That was the answer. Oh, Brett? Nancy, you little darling. I'm sorry. I said bellhop, too. That's it. Charles? I'm sorry. I said a bellboy, but it wasn't a sad story because he bounced on the awning, went up to the second floor, went into room 209, and there was a great broad. So it's a happy story. Well, chapter 12 next week. <laughs> All right, Arlene. When Big Rocco said a rotten room, the hotel gave me through the blank out the window, and uh, Nancy said bed. And the porter was on it. The porter. <laughs> or bellhop, that would have matched that. And Richard oh, probably has bell another bellboy. Bell yeah. yeah. You would have had five if you had said bellboy. Joyce. I said bellboy. For once. Six for bellboy. Six for bellboy. Six bellboys flying out the window. Now, all you got to do is match one and you win another game. You got it? Ready? I Here hope you. I get it. Howard Cosell said... Uh. Oh. Who, who, who cares? <laughs> <laughs> My new domestic servant is decidedly too thorough. While I was napping, she dusted under my blank. <laughs> That's close enough. <laughs> That's all right. No, that wasn't. I just hate to be dumb about spelling. All right? <laughs> you ever met Howard Cassell? Okay. Yes. Dad. Howard Cosell said, my new domestic servant is decidedly too thorough. While I was napping, she dusted under my... Toupee. Toupee. <laughs> he said toupee. One toupee wins a game. Howard, by the way, has another television series coming up. It's called Wagon Tongue. <laughs> I said toupee. Toupee wins a game. Run the rest of you Hold him up. Okay. Come on, Nancy. Come on, Nancy. We're going to have to 
say goodbye to you. You stand by there. You know you, well, you've done that before. Nancy, it was a pleasure meeting you. Thank you. We've got some gifts for you. And uh, we you. hope it was a pleasant experience. It was great fun. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Nancy and Helen. How do you feel? A little richer. Yeah. Well, you know, you're up to $1,300 now, and you're going to try for over $5,000 here. Uh, that's the next step. But before anything happens, we got to do a little business with America, and this is it. Charles Nelson Riley. Uh, I guess, are you going to be gone uh, at any time? No, I never, sh I shall always be here. Be All right, good, good. <laughs> but he's, no, he's got, <laughs> he's got a, a, a marvelous project that he's worked on for a long time, and it's finally going to come to fruition. Would you tell us about well, it? Well, it's just, it's a play by, uh, by William Luce, and it will be produced by the Darrow people, and it's Julie Harris as the Belle of Amherst, and opens on Broadway in April, but will be in Denver, Chicago, Boston, Seattle, and Seattle first. And guess who put a lot of money in the show? The rich broad next to me. Oh, really? It's called the show. I will be here. If it's a hit, I'll be here. But if it, of course, it's a hit. It's a wonderfully funny and warm play. It's, wonderful it's called the Bell of Amherst. Bell of Amherst. 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 You taught me how to say that. Amherst. The Amherst. H is silent. Yes, Joey. Oh, oh well, no, Joey. Join the us next time for Match Game Seventy Six. Gene Rayburn here. Goodbye. <laughs> This is Johnny Olsen speaking for Mass Game 76, a Mark Goodson, Bill Tubman production. Stay tuned for Tattletales next over most of these CBS stations.